G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, this market, just not long ago, this was actually over $1.6 trillion. So I think it was about $1.603 trillion. So we've lost, you know, $6 billion sort of dollars thereabouts. But this market is just, it keeps going from strength to strength. And there's so many articles that we're going to have a look at today that make me just think there is so much more upside to come. And for quite a while, I'm actually starting to think it wouldn't surprise me if this bull run does last for you know another year or two or more. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. And again, it's never financial advice that I offer. I'm not a financial advisor. But we'll go through some of these stories. And then, yeah, it's just unbelievable. I mean, again, we were down under $1 trillion dollars not that long ago we're talking like a week or go a week ago so we have added you know half a trillion dollars almost 1.6 trillion dollars in a matter of a week or so yes we're going to have corrections like we had the other day and really now i look at that it wasn't even a correction it's just going to be a blip on the radar it's unbelievable btc dominance is climbing though again now we're at 52,000 so we're setting new all-time highs yes it's having you know small pullbacks but they're just not lasting but the good thing is it's not just bitcoin that's moving there is a number of things everything's moving in unison and when we go through the stories i think you'll understand why but first of all let's have a look Gas price is going up a little bit again. That is a problem. I'm not going to go over it. We already know my thoughts on that. But what's really pumped in the last 24 hours? All right, Pancake Swap just continues to go. IOST, Binance Coin has been on an absolute tear. I mean, have a look at that. That is unbelievable. Horizon, Monero, Crypto.com Coin. So well done. They really struggled for a while after they got rid of the MCO Coin and they just stayed as the Crypto.com Coin. Uh, it really did plummet down. I, th I actually think it was like under a cent there for a while. So now it's basically 10 x from there. So, and again, look at these. These are double digit gains. These are amazing in 24 hours. Now, again, I don't want to, I have been saying I am worried that there could be a correction coming and that's still in the back of my mind. We absolutely could. And we just need to, you know, be mindful that that is something that could happen. But look, i yeah, I'm not sure if it is going to come. That That's all. Just keep it in the back of your mind. There could be a hefty correction coming at some time, but there's so much bullish narrative out there. I just, I'm not sure that we're going to have any really big corrections for a while. And I, and I changed my mind quite regularly. And if you've watched my videos, you'll know it really is just dependent on the, on the sentiment that you feel out there and things. But again, you know, you see this market just continuing to go from strength to strength. And again, we're about to get into all these stories and there's a ton of really good stories out there. But everything looks pretty good here at the moment. Are there any losers? The losers weren't too bad when we spoke yesterday. So again, Dogecoin is just really sort of dumping off now. Not dumping, but anyway, people are taking profits. That was always to be expected. So, you know, if you don't understand cycles and you got into Dogecoin late, hopefully you didn't throw everything in because if you did, you're probably going to suffer some pretty steep losses. Um, but look, other than 10% loss, these are all real low single digit losses here, like very, very low. And again, you know, if you've lost 1.5% from something that pumped basically, you know, 80%, I don't think you're going to be too concerned. We do have the weekend looming on us. It's Thursday here in Australia. So Wednesday night in other parts of the world. It's usually around about this time, somewhere through to Monday morning, that you have at least a somewhat reasonable sort of retracement. It doesn't mean it's going to be 20, 30%, but you might have, you know, a 10, 15% pullback over a weekend or, you know, a little bit less. We'll have to wait and see, is that going to come this weekend at all? Because it's not every weekend. Or, you know, when does it come again? Is it sort of the Thursday night-ish, Thursday morning? Or does it happen sometime right through to, again, late sort of Sunday night, early Monday morning is when it can happen right before the markets open up. So we'll have to wait and see. All right, these stories. BlackRock has started to dabble in crypto, says the CIO. Rick Ryder, Chief Investment Officer at BlackRock Financial Management, hinted that the firm has already invested a percentage of its portfolio into crypto. 
Black Rock is massive. I think they got eight trillion dollars. Yeah, there it is. Eight trillion dollars worth of assets under management. They really are an absolute behemoth. And you know, now they're into crypto and it's been confirmed. They don't go into exactly what they've invested in. Likely some of it's been Bitcoin, but that also makes me think that maybe some other stuff other than Bitcoin. And it'll be interesting to find out exactly what they've put their money into. Ryder did not specify what percentage of BlackRock assets under management may be in crypto, but his comments come following the multi-trillion dollar asset manager mentioning Bitcoin in two prospectus filings with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. The filings suggest the possibility of BlackRock using Bitcoin derivatives and other assets as part of its investment scheme. I have no doubt, and this is always what happens. You know, it's, they don't really provide a whole lot of information at first. It's, yeah, we're looking into it. You know, we filed something with the SEC, maybe. And then all of a sudden you come out and find, yes, they've in invested quite a lot of money. So far, $1.5 is kind of the biggest single investment. That's what Tesla did. Well, here comes MicroStrategy, not to be outdone. <laughs> so MicroStrategy raising $600 million, not $900 million to buy more Bitcoin and it may well go over a billion dollars. They really will have a ton of Bitcoin. I mean, they're just buying Bitcoin. As far as I know, they're not into anything else yet. So Bitcoin heavy. Following a Tuesday announcement that MicroStrategy would be planning to buy 600 million in Bitcoin through a sale of convertible notes, the business intelligence firm has upped the ante by another 300 million. I would say a lot of this has to do with the sentiment from their conference that they did they can see a lot of other companies are likely really going out to buy more bitcoin so they want to get in and buy some more before the price goes even higher again micro strategy said on wednesday it would be selling 900 million in convertible senior notes due uh due in 2027 in a private offering to qualified institutional buyers according to the firm's estimates the proceeds of the sale will be roughly 879 million it added, however, that it could be as high as $1 billion if the initial purchase exercise in full their option to purchase additional notes. So it wouldn't surprise me. And again, this is a way for institutional buyers to come in and buy Bitcoin but not buy Bitcoin if they're still a little bit sus on it. I mean, MicroStrategy's price share went up considerably when they bought more Bitcoin. Their Bitcoin has gone up considerably since they buy it and likely this is just going to be the same. I, I am unbelievably bullish and I'm struggling to see how Bitcoin won't get over $100,000 this year. Again, next week there might be something that'll make me a little bit fearful and that's just a human psychology. I'm no different to anyone else, but I haven't panic sold anything. I did sell 10% of my crypto not that long ago, but look, I sold it because I needed to have some cash on the side. I can't just be all crypto, no cash, because if you have no cash, how do you ever buy dips when they eventually happen? Other than I might have 100, 200, dollars you know just sitting on the side i needed to have some cash so i sold and again everything i sold was at a profit i'd done pretty well but it was only 10 percent of all my crypto now should crypto you know all my crypto kind of double triple again in the next few months then i'll probably sell another 10 percent, and that's what i'll be doing it'll just be you know sort of 10 percent, or maybe five percent or two percent or if one coin in particular has really pumped then i will be selling i have to have some cash they're unrealized gains until you hit the sell button they're not real and when we have a correction which at some stage will come and no one knows exactly when it will come i want to make sure that i've at least got my initial investment out and i can buy dips and things like that and just simply invest into other things as much as i like crypto i want to get into property i'd like to own a business or two or three if i could so we'll just have to wait and see but super bullish micro strategy that'll basically be a billion on top of their, their uh, I think it was 700 million that they invested early. So that could be nearly $2 billion worth of Bitcoin that MicroStrategy will end up owning. Cardano. So the Mary Hard Fork, Eyes Mainnet, Mainnet launch. According to an update on Tuesday, the project's founder, Charles Hoskinson, the network upgrade will take place on, place on March 1st, after the HFC has completed all the quality assurance and developer checks on February 24th. Hoskinson stated that the event would take place five, take place 
five days following its initial trigger from the current epoch. Therefore, the initial trigger takes place on February 24, then the hard fork will happen on March 1st. However, he noted that certain variables might change the course of the schedule. Such things as bad weather conditions, according to him, may push the date even further. But this is, again, more bullish news for Cardano. You know, they got to nearly uh, sort of a dollar. I think they were 91 cents, maybe even a little bit closer. I can only remember getting to 91 cents. Last I looked, it was back down in the 80s, around 89 cents, 88 cents. I think this is just going to be more bullish news for Cardano. I think they are going to do extremely well in this cycle. And I mean extremely well. But again, never financial advice, but more super bullish news. All right, Motley Fool. Despite the name, the Motley Fool is known for dispensing sage investing advice. Today, it advised readers to buy Bitcoin. More bullish news. Not only that, but the private investment advice firm is buying 5 million in the rapidly appreciating asset, which is currently trading at a record high of above 52,000. So they don't mind buying at 52,000. They're happy to buy. And again, MicroStrategy is getting ready to buy more, and it'll likely be more than $52,000 when they finally buy it. It'll probably be $60,000. While Bitcoin may very well continue to be volatile in the short term, we think it has 10x potential from today's levels over the long term as part of a diversified portfolio, said the website in a post today. We plan to hold this Bitcoin investment for many years. So they think it can 10x over the next 15 years. Look, I think 10x is easy within the next 15 years. A 10x only gets us to half a million dollars in the next 15 years. I think Bitcoin can easily do that. Now, I don't know the absolute ceiling. You know, there's lots of wild calls out there that, you know, Bitcoin could go to a million, it could go to 10 million. I really don't know what it could go to. There's going to be a point where it just can't go higher. It's going to have reached its max top other than, you know, population growth sort of exploding and more people using Bitcoin. I don't know what that price is, but I do think, you know, half a million dollars for Bitcoin, considering there's, you know, only 18-ish million of them in total and two and a half million of those haven't been mined yet. The whole world starts to use Bitcoin. I think half a million is quite easy. All right, pull together. If you haven't heard pull together, we're about to go into a little bit of information. It's a, a lottery where you can't lose. They're actually launching their own coin. I haven't used Pull Together. I've always been thinking about it and haven't. This may sort of spur me on to actually go and get involved. So launched in 2009, Pull Together is a lottery where there is no risk. I mean, there's risk of hacks and bugs and things, but basically you can, it's like you know buying a lotto ticket, but at the end of the week, you get your money back if you don't win. <laughs> How good is that? You sort of can't lose in those regards. Users put in assets that are sent to other decentralized finance apps in order to earn yield. Depositors get tickets that correspond to their deposits. One ticket from a given pool earns all the yield on everyone's deposits. So how good is that? Now, at the moment, it's not millions of dollars like, you know, or hundreds of millions of dollars or even a billion dollars like some of the bigger lotteries are in the world. But it's a matter of time until that does sort of get there as long as again there's no bugs or something drastic goes wrong i love this idea and again pull together now they have their own token i've got to get onto this i really do i love what they're doing i love that you can you know put your money in it's like buying a lotto ticket but at the end of the week if you don't win you get your money back you've lost nothing but the upside was you could have won love this love this right i don't enjoy coinbase at times I, I don't have an account with them but you know they're always crashing and things but look there's some downsides to coinbase but there is a lot of upsides because tesla actually used coinbase now coinbase is emerging as a major player in corporate america's march towards bitcoin this is oh so true they really have you know they help micro strategy uh, they helped tesla now and, and i'm sure there's a number of other companies that have done excuse me, exactly the same. So Coinbase, while it's really disappointing that your, your platform crashes, you know, when we're really starting to see high spikes in the Bitcoin price, it is good to see that, you know, you still are really helping the narrative of Bitcoin and getting, you know, institutions in. All right, Coinbase, more information about them. So 
Cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase, which is preparing to trade publicly in the next few months, is being valued at $77 billion based on trading of the company's privately held shares on a secondary market. Those shares in the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the US are changing hands on NASDAQ private market at $303 a piece, according to two people with knowledge of the auction. That implies a total company value about $77 billion. It's greater than the uh, Intercontinental Exchange, uh, the owner of the New York Stock Exchange. The third weekly transaction closed on Friday, Friday and the clearing price was $300 a share, said the source. The first week was $200, then it was $301, and now it's $303 a share. And again, it's not even publicly traded yet. This is all, you know, kind of not backroom stuff like bad backroom stuff, but, but it's, yeah, the institutional sort of side of things. So imagine what the price is likely to do once it goes public to everyone else. So well done, Coinbase. All right. There is a big Bitcoin upgrade coming soon. So a release date and activation timeline are set for Bitcoin's taproot upgrade. But developers and other stakeholders are still debating the best method to coordinate Bitcoin's biggest upgrade since SegWit. And I really like SegWit. So hopefully, you know, taproot's going to do, you know, even, well, of course, it's going to do better than SegWit. But SegWit, that it'll have the same kind of positive outcomes for Bitcoin is really what I'm looking for. Per a public IRC chat discussion, the code for the fully primed and ready Taproot upgrade will be developed some point, sometime between March 17th and March 31st, or April if necessary. But the actual signaling that kickstarts the activation process probably won't start until July. All right, again, there's a number of things about cryptos in general, particularly scaling and the price of fees and all the rest of it. So hopefully, you know, this upgrade, the Taproot upgrade is going to be you know, as good as what SegWit was for Bitcoin, and SegWit really did help Bitcoin. All right, last but not least, let's have a quick look at the charts. So again, this line is just holding strong. Bitcoin just continues to climb. Not crime. <laughs> climb, sorry, I apologize for that. But the good thing is, it is just kind of doing incrementally. It's nothing sort of too crazy. You know, this kind of where it's just green, green, and then a little bit of red, and green, 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 and almost no red. That's what causes these kind of things. If we just kind of have, you know, nothing too crazy in green, followed by a red day, followed by a green day, followed by maybe two small red days and then a green day, this is healthy growth. This can be sustained for quite a long time, you know, maybe even years. Again, I'm not saying Bitcoin's going to keep going for years and we won't have another bear market in the traditional sense of how we've had them after, you know, a sort of year-long bull market but you know this kind of growth that is very hard to sustain that's why we had this kind of pullback uh, this wasn't too bad this is a little bit concerning you know could we have a Bart Simpson sort of head pattern that we had like over here I'm not really sure but this kind of growth where it's just kind of slowly chugging along maybe even a bit of a spike and then again come back and test this line and we just keep trending like this this can be sustained for quite a long time this kind of growth can't be, unfortunately. All right, love to know your thoughts down below about the Coinbase IPO. What do you think the price is going to be of that Coinbase IPO? It started at 200, it's at 303 now by the time it finally gets offered to the public. I'm sort of thinking it's probably gonna get up around the four to $500 mark before it finally goes public. And then after that, I think there'll be quite a big price spike. And then I think there'll be a sell off from the early sort of investors, i.e. those who owned it before it went public, I think they'll sell off. So I'm in two minds about whether I wanna buy some immediately when it comes out, because these are stocks that I would buy, micro strategy stocks, things that are in cryptocurrencies, I think, they are going to be good stocks to hold because they will continue to grow with the crypto, the whole crypto space. Uh, you know, other stocks that aren't involved in crypto, I'm not saying they don't have any value. I'm just not really invested in stocks at the moment, but there are some stocks that I want to get into. Tesla's one of them, but I'm going to wait uh, for a while before I do that. And I know the price of Tesla stocks could go up a whole lot higher, 
but I think my cryptocurrencies are more likely to go up faster and then I can yeah buy more Tesla stocks later on but Tesla micro strategy Coinbase and again I think there will be others in the future if Ripple can get their you know SEC stuff sorted I would definitely buy into Ripple as well but again, we'll have to wait and see. So let me know down below, what do you think the price of the Coinbase stock will be when they are finally released to the public? All right, that's it from me. Stay safe, be kind to one another. We should all be on that gain train at the moment. Things again are doing quite well and there's lots of bullish news out there. And I'll see you next time.